in an effort to counter Donald Trump's impact on American democracy, the Biden administration has turned to J.D. Vance. Third standard. And, and look, Kaylin, I, I know you're worried, and I, I, look, I think justifiably so, uh, about threats to This isn't about me, Senator. I'm American... asking questions about you and how well, look, you I'm, feel I'm, about I'm this. Look, I'm trying to answer the question. I, I appreciate if you let me. Uh, we know uh, that there are threats to American democracy. I think the biggest threat to American democracy, Caitlin, is that the Biden administration is trying to prevent Donald Trump from campaigning and taking his case to the American people, a, even as they, they hide their own York candidate. That's presiding over that case. It's, the Biden administration is not preventing Donald Trump from campaigning. He just did two Th campaign this, events tonight. This is a this is a really important point, Caitlin. Who is the number three person from the Biden Department of Justice who went to work for the New York prosecutor? just months before he brought this case against Donald Trump. You can't have people moving from the Biden administration to prosecute Donald Trump in New York and say it has nothing to do with the Biden administration, especially Attorneys when the judge is the Biden administration Department donor. Attorneys go from the Justice Department to local DA's offices all, all the time. That's not that unusual. I mean, uh, you're an attorney, you know it's, that. It's, it's, it's pretty probably unusual. probably colleagues who went to Yale with you that did that. It's pretty unusual. J.D. Vance contends that safeguarding free speech and political engagement is crucial warning that impeding a former president's campaign could erode democratic values. However, CNN's analysis challenges Vance's assertions, pointing out that the Biden administration isn't actively hindering his campaign, citing recent events where Trump has campaigned freely. The clash between Vance's arguments and the ensuing debate exemplifies the polarized nature of contemporary American politics, showcasing how people with different beliefs can interpret events and issues in starkly different ways. Vance's apprehensions about potential biases or interferences in legal processes are weighed against broader concerns about the fairness and impartiality of institutions, which ultimately impacts public trust in government and democratic standards.